Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss the Boolean satisfiability problem. So first off, what is the Boolean satisfiability problem? Suppose that you are given some Boolean expression, say A or B. It's short, but it's a perfectly valid expression. The Boolean satisfiability problem is, given such an expression, is there an assignment of Boolean values, true or false, that we can give to our variables such that this evaluates to true? And in this case, it's fairly simple. If we say A is true and B is false, for example, then this expression will evaluate to true. And this will said to be satisfiable. Now, if we were to have something for which there is no solution, let's say we have not B and B, well, clearly there is no way that we can assign a value to B such that this will evaluate to true. If B is true, this will become not true and true, which is false. If we say B is false, this will become not false and false, which again is false. So this would be unsatisfiable. Now when you only have two or three different variables to work with, it can be fairly simple to just evaluate by hand and check all of the different possibilities. But suppose that you're given something much more complex. You have A1 and A2, parentheses, exclusive or, A3 and not A4. And it just keeps going and going and going. And you end up using 50 different variables. A natural question is, is there some sort of algorithm or process that we can use that will consistently be able to give us an answer to this in an efficient way? And the answer, surprisingly, is no. There is no known algorithm. The only way to determine if this is satisfiable or not in a realistic amount of time is to simply check all of the different possibilities which can take a very, very long time. So this is a current ongoing area of research in computer science. How can we efficiently solve these Boolean satisfiability problems? The answer is not obvious. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the Boolean satisfiability problem.